Fluent Forms is by far the best form builder for WordPress. And I really love the way it's integrated into Elementor. Now, let me show you how this works. And by the way, the links to both Elementor and Fluent Forms is in the description below. I have a special discount for Fluent Forms. So all of that in the description below. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to install Fluent Forms. So I'm gonna come over here to plugins, click on add new. And now let's search for Fluent Forms. Now, just take a look at how many installations this has. This is 300,458 five-star reviews. This is amazing. Let's go ahead now and install this, and then we're going to activate it. Now, to get more features, you need the pro version. Now, I already have a license, so I'm going to come over here to my dashboard, and then I'm going to go ahead and download Fluent Forms Pro. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and copy my license key like that. And then back here on my site, I'm going to say Add New. And then we're going to upload the plugin, drag and drop it like that, and then install. We're going to activate the plugin, and we are good to go. So to create a form, all you have to do is to come over here to Fluent Forms Pro, click on Forms, and I uh, just need to activate my license quickly. So I'm going to click on Activate now, paste my license in here, and then Activate License. Excellent. So now we're going to say Forms. So when you click on forms, it'll just show you all the forms that you have here uh, in a list, but we wanna create a brand new one. So I'm gonna click here on add new form. Now I'm not gonna go through all the um, examples of uh, how Fluent Forms works. I just wanna show you the integration. So over here, we have our predefined templates. So as you can see here, we have our contact form, we have our conversation form, subscribe, and so on, but we have a ton more because if you come over here to marketing, we can see that we have quite a few here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of these default templates as an example. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this polling form like that. All right, so here we are. I have all my fields. Now I can even add more if I wanted to. So let's say for example, I want to add a country list. I can just click on that and you can see it has been added here to the bottom. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it to the top here like that. And the next thing maybe I may want to add here is uh, maybe time and date. I'm just going to add that. And again, it's a drag and drop uh, system. I can just drag and drop it like that. All right. So let's say our form is complete. All I have to do now is to click on save form. But here's the thing. When we use other page builders, there isn't that integration that uh, uh, for, uh, Fluent Forms has with the page builder, but here this is phenomenal. Let me show you how this works. So remember, this is polling form number three. So over here now, let's uh, create a brand new page. So I'm going to say uh, new, or I can go to an existing page. Uh, I think I have a page called form here. So I'm going to click on edit with Elementor, but you can start your page pretty much with uh, any title to the page. All right, so now that I have my form, uh, my page called form, let's now add our module. So I'm gonna first of all select my structure here, and then I'm gonna search for my forms. So here you notice that we have fluent forms. Now this is really cool. Now I can just drag and drop it like that. And on this drop down, I can click here and I can choose my form. And here it is, polling form number three. So I'm gonna select that. And now I have full access to this. I can really go in and design this however I want. So let's say, for example, I want to exclude the uh, labels. I can just say, no. Nope. And now the labels are gone, or I can put them on. Now I can add also a custom uh, title and description over here, where I can just say my polling form. So you can see here, it has been added at the top. I can also add a description here. So I'm gonna paste my description. Now, when I come over here to style, this is where things get really exciting. I can design pretty much any part of this form. So I can start here with my typography. I can click here, choose my font. So let's say I wanna go with Poppins. Uh, now, if you watch my tutorials, I'm sure you'll know that this is my uh, favorite font, font. Okay, so I can continue on here. The form container, I can go in and further customize this. Now at the moment here, my radius, I'm not a fan of that. I'm gonna say zero and padding. I can add a bit more padding to the top and the bottom. So let's go with EM and I'm gonna add two. And you can see now I've added a bit more padding now to my form. Let's go with a bit more, uh, maybe four. It's okay, so that's looking great. So I've removed my border radius here. Now let's do a further more customizations. This was the form container. Now let's go into the input and text area. 
So now I can start by adding zero to my border radius and you can see right away uh, that has been added. Border type, I'm gonna go with solid. For the width here, I'm gonna go with two. And you can see right away there, I can make it even uh, more, but I think two is uh, good. I can add a bit of padding if I want to. And for the typography here, I can change this to pop-ins. So you can see there's a lot we can do here when it comes to customizing our form. And this is really, really amazing. All right, so uh, let's say we're done with that. And uh, we also need to add a background to this. I can uh, go into uh, my uh, style here, go to advanced background. And now I can choose my background color by coming over here. So let's say I wanna go with a very light gray. I can choose my color here. Now let's go into the input and text area. So if I click here on this little uh, triangle to open it, I can set this as my normal color, but on the focus, let's say someone clicks inside, I can set a specific color. So let's go in and uh, customize that. So the background color here, I wanna make it uh, dark as the focus. So when someone clicks in here, you can see it's just gone dark now. But of course, if that's, um, if that's not the style you want, you can just keep it normal. And you can see now that when I start typing in here, it's pretty much basic. All right, so I can also move on. I can uh, go to, into my placeholder text here and I can set my text color as well. Now over here on the submit button, I can go in and customize that as well. So let's go in and change the color. So let's say you wanna use a totally different color. Um, I'm gonna come over here and change my color to maybe something like that. But not only do I need to change my color here, oops, uh, it's gone now. Let's go back to our submit. So let's say I also wanna change um, the typography. I can set this to my favorite font, Poppins, like that. Now, if I wanna make it all caps, I put all my styling here. I can go with uppercase. I can even go with some letter spacing. So let's just add a little bit like that. Yeah, maybe go with one. For the border radius, let's set this to zero. And I can also set my hover color over here for my button. But I'm not gonna you know, mess around with that. Let's just go ahead now and save. And let me show you now what this form looks like. So this integration here is fantastic. So if I click here on preview changes, uh, this now opens in a new tab and there we are. We have our brand new form. And when I click here, you can see it has our drop down. I can choose my color here. If I need to uh, go for my date and time, it shows up here with a nice, beautiful animation. So this integration with Elementor is fantastic. I mean, this form is pretty much the best I've used online and I highly recommend it. As I mentioned earlier on, I have a link to that in the video description below. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.